This video is sponsored by Zebronix. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really cool and elegant looking title animation in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. If you guys are looking for a really high quality speakers or maybe a cool mechanical keyboard or a super responsive mouse or a dope looking cabinet for your next build, then make sure to check out zebronics.com. From slim LED TVs to wireless headsets, they have it all at a really good and reasonable price. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition. This is gonna be our main comp. So let's rename this to main. 1920 into 1080, 30 frames, 10 seconds. Looks good and hit OK. Now let's create one more composition for our text so let's call this text and hit ok and then we can type in any text that we want i'm just gonna type in modern maybe something like that let's make this white and let's make this uni sans bold or maybe let's go with uni sans heavy that should look a bit more better now you can of course use any font any of your actual favorite font that you like so let's keep it right over there maybe i'll make it a bit more bigger maybe 250 okay pretty good let's go into the main composition and drag in the text composition just like that and let's hit ctrl r to bring down the rulers and let's also turn on our title action safe so let's drag it a ruler just like so try to be as precise as possible with the ruler so that looks pretty good to me let's go into window and lock the rulers up so i think it's in the view lock guides Control r so we can close the rulers there we have a guideline for our mat so let's select the rectangle tool we don't need any stroke so let's set this to zero and we need the fill so i'm gonna keep it white you can of course you know choose any color but probably go with white something like a grayish maybe so we can see it more properly and create a box just like so maybe somewhat this big should be good enough also make sure to align this just like that there we go and let's rename this to mat underscore o one there we go and let's change the track mat of the text to alpha mat so we have something like that let's pre-comp this so let's pre-comp it let's call this maybe mm, top and hit ok and now we can you know just move it just like that okay pretty good and then i'm gonna go into the project panel and duplicate it right over here so let's call this control let's hit control d to duplicate it let's rename this to bottom let's open the bottom composition and move the track mat right over here just like that and there we go let's bring the bottom composition into our main comp so now we have two different composition from bottom and top pretty simple and then what I can do is create our second text so let's call this maybe let's call this title animation and I'm gonna make it maybe unisans semi bold and make this a bit smaller just like so and increase the distance just like that let's bring this in the center so this is going to be our secondary text and then what i'm going to do is let's animate the top and the bottom composition so let's start the animation from 10 frames select both the composition and hit p for position property 
Oh, uh, before that, what I would like to do is animate the mat. All right. So let's go at one second. Create a keyframe on the mat. So hit P for the position property. Create a keyframe. Go back in time at maybe let's go with 10 frames and let's bring the mat up just like that. Select the keyframes. Hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes. Go to graph editor. Now, if your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure you're working in the edit speed, speed graph and not in the edit value graph. So let's switch to edit speed graph. Select this point and drag this handle just like that, holding Alt and Shift. So we have a really nice and simple animation as you can see. Maybe it's a bit too fast, so let's bring this at the very beginning. So we have something like this, pretty simple, nothing complex. The same thing I'm going to do with the bottom one. Go to one second, create a keyframe on the position of the mat. Go back in time and drag this just like so. Select the keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and create a curve just like so. So now we have something like that. So let's go into the main comp and now we should have something like this. Then I'm going to go to one second and 10 frames. Create a keyframe on both the position of the top and the bottom composition. Go to maybe two second and 10 frame and let's move them just somewhere around there. Maybe it's a bit too up. Let's bring this using the arrow keys. Select the bottom one and drag it just like so. Trying to be as precise as possible using the arrow keys. Pretty cool. Let's select the keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and create a curve like so. So let's see our animation. Pretty good. Maybe tweak it a little bit. Yep, pretty nice. And then what I'm going to do, oh, maybe what we need to do is let's hit you so we can see the keyframe and let's let's just hit F9 and make them simple again or busy again. And what we need to do is first of all, create a rectangle for our second text. So let's select the rectangle tool, make it a bit darker gray so we can see it more properly and try to create a square as precise as possible or rectangle maybe something like that let's align this in the center and maybe I'll just increase the size somewhere around there let's call this mat all right change the track mat of the text to alpha mat so you can see just the text and then I'm going to animate the scale properties of the mat. So something like this. You get the idea, right? So let's go to 2 second and 10 frames. Create a keyframe on the scale properties of the mat. Go to right over here. And let's bring this down all the way to 0. So now we should have something like this. Let's select the keyframes. Hit F9. Go to graph editor. And now I'm going to create that curve. Something like that. Let's see what we have. Uh, not actually what I'm going for. So let's select it. Hit U so we can see all the keyframes. Let's select all the keyframes. Hit F9 again. Just to reset it, you know. And create a curve like so let's see what we have pretty nice now I want to displace the second text a bit so I'm going to display the keyframe a bit something like that pretty nice okay pretty happy with that you can also change the color of the text so let's add a fill make this kind of a darker pink you can of course select any of your favorite color that you like Control c to copy the fill effect Control v to paste it on the bottom one so now we have a really cool look 
let's see our animation so far pretty nice and it's really simple and easy to create as you can see but looks really cool yep pretty nice so let's go ahead and create those square strokes so what I'm gonna do is select the pen tool we need the stroke to maybe let's set this to 10 pixels we don't need any fill so let's set this to none hit ok and pretty randomly I'm gonna create a shape just like so holding shift so just to be a bit more precise you know okay pretty good let's center the anchor point and move this in the center just to be as precise as possible let's turn off our title action safe also we don't need to see the guide so hit control and semicolon to hide the guide so now we have something like that and then what I'm going to do is let's first of all let's rename this line and also select the pen tool and I'm going to move, bring this a bit closer the points click on the path and select this and this maybe bring this closer this one as well okay let's add trim parts to this so we can animate the stroke so now we can animate the stroke just like that so let's go at the very beginning create a keyframe on the end property go to one second and bring this all the way up to 100 there we go let's select the keyframe hit f9 to easy ease it go to graph editor and create a curve like that now we have a really nice motion to it pretty cool okay oh okay let's pre-comb this let's call this stroke and first of all let's increase the size of the stroke to around 15 okay looks pretty good hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit r and rotate this up oh before that oh let's rotate this up let's rotate this to 180 degrees there we go let's move it a bit closer pretty nice so let's go ahead and animate this so let's select our top and bottom comp hit U so we can see just the keyframes so right over here I'm gonna create a keyframe on the strokes so let's select the stroke composition and hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go to two second and ten frames and this time i'm going to select this one bring this a bit up just like that select the bottom one and bring this down to somewhere around there just to align it with the text so let's maybe place it somewhere around there pretty nice let's select the keyframes hit f9 and the same exact thing so let's see what we have pretty sweet looks pretty nice but what I like to do is to displace the stroke to create a little bit of dynamic to the animation so what I like to do is select the stroke and drag them a bit off so it looks like the text hits the stroke and then the stroke moves so let's see you can see it's a little bit of dynamics but it looks really interesting to me maybe a bit more you can see that little bit of kind of a hit effect that we get looks really interesting to me so it's really simple and easy to create as you can see pretty simple then we can also add a background pretty quick so let's hit ctrl y to create a new solid let's rename this to bg for background drag this below and add a gradient to it gradient ramp let's change this color to kind of a darker blue now you can have purplish 
set this to radial ramp and move this down just like so also move this a bit something like that also increase the ramp scatter so we don't get any color bendings to maybe 100 and there we have it let's make this a bit darker pretty nice so there we have a really nice looking text animation now one more thing that i'll pretty quickly show you to you guys is how to reverse this animation so what you can do is let's say i want to keep the animation for three seconds so let's go to three seconds and pre-comp this up so let's pre-comp it except the background let's pre-comp this let's call this title animation hit ctrl d to duplicate it all right select both the layers of the composition hit alt and close bracket to crop the comp all right and then select the top one right click go to time and time reverse layer and hold shift so that it snaps in just like so and there we have a reverse animation as well pretty sweet simple and nice looking text animation so that is a wrap for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative